What's going on guys? Welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu. And today we're doing another product review video here on our channel. So we're gonna dive in, not waste your guys' time and talk about the Foxwell scanner. It is a HD 500, that's the model. And this is actually a scanner for heavy duty diesel trucks and heavy duty equipment, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and go through what you get in the box real quick. So you got the scanner itself with the 5.5 inch LCD screen. So it's a pretty big screen and it's palm held with 50% made uh, environmentally friendly material, as well as you get the on button up here, USB-A plug-in, with the C and then the uh, port to plug that cable in, okay? Nothing else anywhere else. Well, this scanner does come with an internal battery and that's a, a 400 mAh battery. So you can charge it, unplug it from the charger and walk over to a car and plug this in and do that if you don't want the plug to go on with you. You get all this stuff in a case, all right? And this is what the case looks like. Just like that, you got compartments to pack everything in. A user manual with a quick start guide. The USB-A, USB-C plug-in, there you go. With the wall outlet, all right. And then we get different OBD plugins. And this is the one that you're gonna be using for the vehicle, the one that we're gonna be using in the video here for our uh, F-250 diesel in this video. Then here you get the Cat 14, Cat 9 plugins for tractors and heavy equipment, um, things that this OBD scanner does work on or engines. I made a quick list for you guys to kind of give you an idea of what it does. So it does do advanced DPF regen. Um, it does ABS bleeding, injector cutoff, speed limit settings. What motors you might ask does it cover? Cummins, Detroit, Packard, Caterpillar, International, and Hino. And then it is very user-friendly with a lifetime updating system, okay? You also get uh, things such as like a SD card in there, which is um, 32 gigabyte SD card. It does have one gigabyte of uh, self memory. You could do a lot more, and we're gonna show you guys that when we connect it to the truck, all right? Right now at this, uh, the video itself, the product is worth about $480 on Foxwell. On Amazon, it's running around the $600 mark. Don't forget to use our coupon code in the description below to save you guys self some money here at our channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Now that I'm done showing you guys what comes in the box, let's go ahead and shoot over, plug it into the vehicle, and then show you guys what this thing could do. Now guys, we're gonna plug into our 2017 F250 6.7 liter, and we're gonna use the OBD2 connector for the vehicles. This is the majority of the, uh, reason why you'd want these. And I did mention that it does work on tractors like the Caterpillars and the engines and the motors like the pack cars and the Cummins and all that stuff. So uh, it is compatible to the big semi trucks and your equipment, your heavy duty equipment on your farm or your ranch, all right? So keep that in mind. We're gonna be doing this with the F-250 because that's pretty much what we have. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So under every dashboard, you're gonna have an OD, OBD2 plug-in. It's gonna look just like that. Our F-250 2017 is right here. And go ahead, the unit is turned on. And this is what our home screen looks like, all right? And I wanna just kinda of get you guys a quick look. So you have the diag mode, DPF, speed limiter, ABS, OBD, and injector cutoff. We're gonna go straight to a diag and show you guys all the options you got. So from the American uh, LeFranc, as well as Autocar, Cadillac, Caterpillar, Chevrolet, Chrysler, the Crane, Dodge, Ford, Freightliner, Fuso, which is the Benz, Fuso Mitsubishi, scrolling more up, GM, GMC, the Hinos, the Isuzu, Kenworth, Kia, Mac, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Mercedes-Benz, and that's pretty much down to the Packard, Peterbilt, Pierce, Sterling, Toyota, UD, Volkswagen, and the Western Star, okay? So a lot of options, um, pretty much just for diesel and heavy-duty equipment. We're gonna go ahead and go to truck. We did, we're gonna go to the Ford. One thing I've noticed about this unit is that it actually picks up pretty well. So you can uh, manual select that VIN or I'm gonna do the smart VIN system. It picks it up really quick. All right, see so it gives you what your car is or what your vehicle is. You're gonna click yes. And this is where it opens up to you. Pretty simple interface with regards to the list of what you wanna go into, special functions. Um, let me show you guys that real quick. You can go into the body control module, the chassis, electrical powertrain. We're gonna go back and show you guys what a real quick, quick scan looks like in this video. So that first about 23% does load up pretty quick. Um, does take a, maybe a minute or so to get over to that 100%. Keep that in mind and it runs through every module on the car, picking up any fault codes you got, as you guys can see.
So we're at about we're at the 100% mark. Took about a minute, minute and a half. This is what it picked up on all my fault codes. So PCM one, you got the body control module. You got five faults, two faults, one fault on all this stuff. And if we scroll, it lets you know no faults on any other module. All right, and we did have a check engine light on this uh, vehicle, the F250. So if we go ahead and click into that PCM, ECU information, read codes. All right. Picked up our reductant pump A performance stuck off. So as you guys can see, it does pick up the code, gives you the code there on the left. All right. That's pretty much how you're doing that stuff. Um, don't want to waste too much time and make this video too long. I want to show you guys some more. I did do special functions. We can go into, for example, your electrical, service functions, cruise control. You can also mess around with your chassis controls, your braking, your steering, your tire pressure monitor system, and your powertrain. You got your power balance the reset, service functions, transmission. So just so much on this. Um, is this your most in-depth computer? I probably wouldn't say it's the, you know, $3,000, $4,000 computers. But for that $480 to $600 price mark, you're getting a great computer. Why would you want this, honestly? Is to save yourself some money. Don't take your stuff to the dealership and spend just for a Diag 200 of three, four hundred dollars depending on what they're charging per hour. But you're already looking at a two hour diag right off the bat if you're taking a dealership. No, do this, do your own diag and maybe it's just a sensor or something of that sort. Now let's go back to home. You can mess around with your OBDs. Again, ejector cutoff. You can scroll to the right. You get more settings, auxiliary tools, remote control, VCI manager, updating your system. It does uh, cooperate and uh, compatible with your Wi-Fi system to update that system. And let's go ahead and show you guys. You got your diesel OBD2s. Remember I was telling you guys those pins, the six, the nines, the tens, and the 14 uh, pin plugins. As well as you do have history, you can save it, go to your ABS, look at all the options on your ABS with regards to the diesel systems. And so much more. Now, guys, if you guys do find yourselves in the market for an OBD scanner, Foxwell, the HD500 is actually a pretty good thing. Save yourself some money with our coupon code in the description below. All right, we're not a sales rep. I'm not a sales rep. I'm just helping people find out which scanner to buy. This actually, um, from the perspective of comfortability, does it do the right job? It does. It actually gets in pretty deep with your DPF systems. So save yourself some money, guys. Again, don't forget to follow us here at Vagabond Builds with James and Sandy. We truly appreciate you guys. And check out our other videos with regards to car products. Thanks and God bless.